Hi folks, uh, thank you for joining me with my market report. My market report, if you're new to my channel, is uh, on mortgage rates. We kind of delve into what's uh, impacting uh, mortgage rates on a daily basis. We go into whether it's economic reports, if it's coming into from a, some type of event, uh, some type of sentiment in the markets. We kind of get into what's, um, what's affecting the market and sometimes logic it gets thrown on the door in these markets. We kind of gauge as to what the sentiment is and reason being uh, for that, uh, if there might be one, and sometimes we'll also we'll try to get into the week ahead to get you um, some information as to uh, for planning. So if you guys are into refinancing or purchasing, uh, want to know where rates are going, and want to know what's kind of what what's going to impact rates in, in the week ahead, well, uh, you come to the right place. So a little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work with a national lender. We're here to help you in any capacity, whether if you're looking for information about these videos on mortgage rates, if you're looking about questions on the different programs or process, we can even help you guys out with uh, mortgage, uh, with the uh, re re refinances or even uh, purchases. So if you're looking to get refinanced and want and don't really know what program to go with, or if you got looking for great rates, you're looking for take some money out of the property, or just want to get that uh, term lower from 30 to 15 or better you know, uh, rate uh, we're here uh, purchasing you know, we can get your pre-approvals all set up uh, make, make it nice and easy we do have a lot of things over the mobile app you can uh, take care of and uh, we certainly can get that done nice quick and easy for you guys uh, in that regard as well so uh, without further ado why don't we jump right into this we'll start off with the economic data given today uh, something that we don't always report on it's not a big deal but i kind of like to look at the each week we get the mba mortgage loan activity report so this is kind of tells you that we saw an increase in uh, purchase activity last week and the refinance did drop so overall it dropped uh mortgage activity level dropped uh due to the the bigger influx of uh bigger drop on refinance side versus uh purchase side of things uh, but the big ones this week uh, will be jobs data, and today starts off with the ADP employment data, which is the private payrolls uh, for the month of August. So July initially came in at 330,000. However, they did get revised a little bit lower down to 326,000. Forecast is calling for 613,000, and it only came in at 374,000. Now, normally this would be a decent number, but because we're coming off, of course, the pandemic and we're, we're expecting bigger surges in our numbers, uh, this came up well shy, and of course, uh, for the most part, it's disappointing the markets. We'll touch on this, uh, its impact here in a minute here. But we also got the ISM manufacturing PMI uh, for the month of August. So this pre uh, previous month back in uh, July, it was at 59.5, and forecast was gone for dip at 58.6, but however, it went the opposite direction and it improved a little bit by 59.9. Now, on this index, anything above 50 is considered expansion or optimism. So we're seeing a, we had a slight growth uh, in August versus July, according to ISM. However, there is another index I author. It's called the IHS Market uh, Manufacturing PMI, and that one actually showed a decline. So sometimes we get conflicting reports. But we we're doing the ISM primarily because it's considered the gold standard uh, for this type of report here. Uh, last but not least, we got construction construction spending excuse me on that uh, so the june data came initially came at point one however it got uh, revised lower down to basically zero so unchanged uh forecast for calling for a point two percent increase and it jumped up point three percent let's take a look now over at the headline news uh stocks are up now why is stocks up on not good news on adp well it's because on this scenario good news is or bad news is good news uh, basically means that the uh, Fed is looking at jobs data and uh, the ADP coming in with such a low number below expectations that, um, you know, especially if the BLS is which is what they really kind of look at, which will be released on Friday, uh, that, that could indicate that the Fed may hold off on the tapering plans, and that means they can tr continue drinking the Kool-Aid, so to speak, uh, for a longer period of time. So uh, that's why uh, you're seeing stocks are up at the moment. Let's take a look at the mortgage backed securities. Uh, we started the morning much down much further, uh, touching off the 50 day moving average. Since then, we have risen. We we're even up higher above the 25 day moving average, but have scaled back. Now we're just at uh, minus two. Uh, so, for the most part, our pricing should be where we left off yesterday. Uh, 
we did have a price uh, for the worst yesterday, so pricing did come in a little worse yesterday. Uh, so towards where the closes, our pricing should be pretty comparable to yesterday's uh, closed pricing today. And for trend new treasury, it has dipped a little bit. As you can see, we started off a little higher towards the 50 day moving average. Did come down testing the um, technical level and the 25 day moving average, but has subsided kind of like what the mortgage backed securities did and is selling in just under 1.31. All right, folks. So that's pretty much the wrap. Our rates are about unchanged from where we are at yesterday. Yesterday's close, even though yesterday's close, we did. Uh, get price worsening because it did worsen a bit. Uh, we closed, I think, down 11 to 13 basis points. Um, so I'll just kind of give you an FYI on there. Again, we're here to answer any questions or help you in any capacity. So if you need an assistance, please reach out. We're here. And if you guys like these videos, please smash that like button. It certainly helps us out. It helps the videos out. We appreciate you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.